everyone. Today we're going to learn all about adding and subtracting amounts of time. But before we get started, don't forget to click subscribe so that you can see all of my easy math tutorials. Okay, so for our learning today, I thought it'd be awesome to step into the world of Minecraft. These last few days was the Minecraft free summer event called Trails and Tales. And you better believe I was excited to get in there and see what all was going on. So I started playing at 4.15 p.m. And let's use this to help us learn about time. I spent 20 minutes just exploring the event. I spent 15 minutes waiting in line and then riding the hot air balloon. It was such a pretty ride. And then I spent 25 minutes trying out the jungle parkour event. This was one of my favorites and I wanted to keep improving my time. So I just kept doing um, this event. This was really fun. Okay, then I spent five minutes buying a, wait for it, camel hat. <laughs> and I want you to help me with what was my ending time on this event. All right, so here we have our first time problem. So in this video, we're gonna be learning about how some problems are wanting us to add time and find a an ending time some problems are wanting us to subtract something and maybe uh, find a starting time in this problem we have a start time and we have several different activities that we did in minecraft and we want to know what time i stopped playing so what do you think we're doing are we adding this time on or are we taking it away? Okay, great. We are adding this time. We're going to end up with an end time that's later than 4.15 p.m. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this. I have found that a number line is super helpful. A clock is super helpful. And so let's start with our number line. So where should I put my starting point for this problem? Oh, you got it. 4.15 is my start time. So I'm going to mark that on the number line. 4.15 is when I started. So now each event that I do, I'm going to be counting forward more time until I end up with a certain time. So one thing to keep track of is anytime you look at a number line, it's really important to first study it and see what is it counting by. So I want you to take a second, see what you think. Here's four o'clock, 4.15. It takes three jumps to get to each uh, point that I labeled. Okay, I think you got it. It's counting by five minutes. If you had a little trouble with that, you could always just try a guess. Let's say you said, um, oh, maybe it's counting by uh, two minutes. You could say four o'clock, 402, 404, 406. Oh, okay, it's not two minutes. And then keep trying until you get to something that does work. In this case, five minutes is good because four o'clock, 405, 410, 415, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay, it's working out with five minutes. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our exploring time. Okay, can you pause the video and see if you can go forward 20 minutes? and see where you're at. Okay, let's check your work. So 20 minutes is gonna be five, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna make one big jump to show my exploring. 
I could even label it explore for 20 minutes. Okay, so what time is it now? If it's just one little mark after 4.30, then what time is it now? Oh, you got it, 4.35. Okay, now let's do the hot air balloon. Would you pause the video again and jump forward 15 minutes? Okay, let's check your work. 5, 10, 15. Here's the hot air balloon. Okay, and what time are we at now? It's just one mark ahead of 4.45. Okay, 450. Okay, now I want you to pause the video again and do the parkour event for 25 minutes. Okay, let's check your work. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, parkour took the longest because I kept doing the event over and over again. Okay, now we're at 5.15 exactly. Now we've got one more thing I did, the camel hat, for five minutes. Can you pause the video, find out where it's at, and that'll be our ending time. All right, this one was a short little jump, just five minutes for the hat. And what is my ending time? What time did I stop playing? You got it, 5, 20 p.m. Awesome, okay, now let's take a look at the clock here. This can help you too. If you use a clock, it's really just like a circular number line. So if it's 4.15 to start with, I would make my hour hand a little, maybe a little past the four, between the four and the five, because it's between four and five o'clock. And then my minute hand could be going exactly towards the three, because this is counting by fives also, just like, you know how my number line counted by fives? Well, so does the clock. Here we have five, 10, 15 minutes. So when you're counting the minutes, it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 minutes is an hour. So it it's, works just like the number line. So what I could do with that is I could start counting my events around the clock. So I could say, okay, we need 20 minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, okay? And now I'm at four, the seven, let's see what the seven means. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I could just kind of write it down. All right, then 15 minutes for the hot air balloon. So five, 10, 15. And then once again, if you're not sure what that time would be, I'll make my minute hand going towards the 10. You can always just start again right here and count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So it's not five o'clock yet because we have to get up to that 12 to make it five o'clock. Okay, now the parkour, 25 minutes, let's go that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so that means I'm going to adjust my clock hands a little bit. We passed the five o'clock, right? And we made it all the way back to the three. So that means it is five, five, ten, fifteen. Okay, and now we want to go. This is where the clock can get a little bit more difficult than just a regular number line because then you've got to go, you might go more than an hour. And so I'm just going to make a bigger jump right there so I know where I'm at. And I can always change my minute hand to go there towards the four. So now let's check and see if we get the same answer. 5, 10, 15, 20. 
So it's 520. Got the same answer. Great job. And I'm off. Okay, so this was one of my favorite parts of the summer event. I'm not that good at it, but it was fun to try and keep improving my time. You could probably beat me, I'm sure. It's a little laggy, plus I'm not that good, <laughs> but that's okay. Let's see what my first time is. Oh, almost there, yay! Okay, one minute, 52 seconds. Now let's try a second time. Doing a little bit better. It's still kind of laggy. Almost there, almost there. Yay, one minute, 26 seconds. Okay, then here's my third. And I'm going to leave this one a mystery. All right, let's take a look at our second Minecraft problem. It's all about my times on the parkour event. So uh, once again, we're gonna be trying to figure out whether these are gonna be an add or a subtract type of problem. And let's dig in. So my first try was one minute, 52 seconds. My second try was one minute, 26 seconds. Woo. So I wanna know how much faster is my second try. Why don't you pause the video and start working on how much faster is my second try? Okay, let's check your work. So first things first, uh, we need to decide, are we adding or subtracting? Since I wanna know how much faster I'm going to be subtracting. Okay, and I'm noticing here that I am going to need to do uh, some regrouping because I've got a two right here I'm trying to take away six. So I need to do a little regrouping. If you're having trouble with that, I have some videos on add and subtract with regrouping. So you might want to go check those out. Okay, but I'll show you here. So we're going to take a 10, one from the tens place, and we're going to break it up into 10 ones. And since we already have two, now we've got 12. What is 12 minus 6? Okay, you got it. 6. What is 4 minus 2? Two. 2. Okay, so it was 26 seconds faster. Awesome. Doing pretty good. Okay, now I left the third try a mystery because I want you to figure out my time. I went 19 seconds faster. I just kept getting better and better. So now I want you to tell me what was my third try if it's 19 seconds faster. Okay, pause the video and help me figure it out. All right, let's check your work. Once again, let's ask ourselves, is this an adding type of problem? If I'm 19 seconds faster, am I gonna add that on or subtract it from 26? Okay, that could be a tricky question. Faster sounds, you know, better or bigger, but it's actually smaller because you want to have the smallest time to be at the finish line the fastest. Okay, so we're gonna subtract. And once again, lots of regrouping in this problem. So I'm gonna take away a 10 and break it up into 10 ones, which makes 16 now. What is 16 minus nine? Okay, awesome, seven. Okay, and one minus one is zero. So I could put that there or I could just leave it not there. 
Okay, so now I did a good job subtracting, but what is my uh, time? What is my third try time? Oh, okay, one minute. We don't wanna forget that one minute and seven seconds. Woo, I wonder if I could get that down to under a minute if I keep trying, maybe so. I bet a lot of you could get under one minute. Great work today, everyone. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. Bye.